We're joined this evening by Toledo Mayor Mike Bell. Thank you very much for your time. You got a lot on your plate, $48 million deficit. You've gotten some movement with the police union. I know you can't talk about specifics, but how optimistic are you that you have some sort of concessions? Well, I, I, I'm uh, feeling pretty good about the discussions we've had. I think they've been very positive. You know, the hardest part is developing trust with the unions. Uh, you know, uh, this is a new administration, mm -hmm. and, and they may have a, a different concept of how things have uh, happened before, and i got to really establish how I'm going to be able to treat them. And we've been working on those relationships, and I'm just hoping that this thing turns out in a, in a good way. Do you get the feeling from them that there is more trust this time around than there was with the previous administration? Well, one thing they know is that I have actually a work pattern with unions in this city, and I have never really demonstrated uh, an inability to work with them. I, I've always been friendly with everybody. I try to be calm, level-headed, and present good information. So, I mean, if I was a, a, a bad person when it comes to that, they would already know that, and they would know whether they could trust me or not. Okay, so if you, if you do get the police officers on board with concessions, do you feel like you could get the other unions in the city to do the same thing? Well, realize that we've been talking to all of them in the last week or so, and so all of them are showing very positive movement. We haven't really had any major pushbacks. It's just a matter of figuring out what is good language for them to be able to, uh, be able to appropriately um, go back to your membership with. Do, so do, you, do you think it helped, though, that you put on paper numbers when it comes to layoffs? I mean, w was that realistic, or is that more of a scare tactic? No, I don't do scare tactics, and that uh, is going to make me different than most administrations. That was real. That's what we, was gonna ha we were going to have to do to be able to balance this $48 million deficit, and that uh, was just the part that involved the, the city employees. We still got the other part that involves council that they're going to have to do, mm -hmm. uh, make some hard choices also to be able to balance this budget. There's, there's no easy way out of this. The, the, there isn't an easy way out. And, and when you're talking about the, the discussions with the, the unions and everything they have to do, you've always talked about different suggestions. And some people have said, why not let the state auditor take over, okay? Blow it all up. Start over again. Why, why would that not be a good option? Because if we're trying to bring businesses to our city, that option could scare businesses away. And so mm -hmm. we go into a deeper uh, debt as compared to where we're at now because people start to pull out, you know, maybe, you know, they're not in agreement with uh, what's happening with the decisions that are made with other people making decisions for the city of Toledo. And they, they start to pull their businesses and go out other places. Sometimes, uh, the, at least the history of it says that it would take five to ten years of recovery if you did a bankruptcy, that, that okay. you're, right. you're going to have some issues there. But, but, you, but you know any solution is going to have to be long-term. I mean, you, you uh, know right now there's no easy fix. No, there is no easy fix, but I think that if we're given a little bit more time than three months, mm -hmm. that there are other issues that we can address to make this city more efficient, to make us more user-friendly, to be able to bring jobs into the city, then that's what I'm focusing on. And, and unfortunately, we just had the odd task of trying to figure out how to balance this in a 90-day period of time, and that's not a whole lot of time when you have a $48 million deficit and you're coming in with a totally new administration. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll see how it goes, Mayor Mike Bell. Thank you very much for your time. We appreciate no it. And that is your talk back.